Hello everyone, this is a, uh, a video to demo the new views functionality that I coded into XLights over the weekend. So let me start out by, I'm going to open up a file that was a V3 file. I need to select, to correct the audio. So this opened up a sequence that I had in version 3. So if you right click anywhere on one of these elements and select edit display elements, I'm going to tear that away so I can see the whole dialog easier. So what it does is it takes all of your elements that you had on your grid and puts them into what I call a master view. The master view is what determines the render rendering order. Now I'm not sure if it's exactly top to bottom or bottom to top because there might be some stuff Dan has going on if there's a group so I, I'm not sure if there's some precedence based on whether something's a group or an individual model but it's basically the same rendering order as if you had all these on the screen in this order the way you do today um, and so why that's important is so let me click add views I'll add one called candy canes so if I hit add models I can go in and select which models I want to add to that view and so now those candy canes are added to that view so I can click between the views now I can click master view what you'll notice now shows candy canes that it did not show before that's because the master view always shows all models that you've added into your sequence. And then there's my candy canes view. So let's say I just, uh, well, let me add one more that's not, not a name that's so close to the other so it's easier to see. So I had this snowflake in there and you'll notice I added, I added in the snowflake model. It already had the effects on it. So I'm going to move that up in the middle here a little bit. Now what I wanted to show is if you go back to the master view that snowflake is still in his same position in the master view but in the candy canes view he's in the middle. And you can work in either view. I can go into the master view add some effects. When I click on candy canes those effects are in there go move that guy back down um, you can remove that guy from this view but if you click on master view snowflake is still there so it just gives you a, a way to work on say elements you know, instead of having to have all your elements all in one view. It's a little bit easier to manage if you can isolate some ones you like to target. So all my fire stick stuff would be here so I could go look at my candy canes, my fire stick, and we just add a few things in there. Or I can go back to my master view. Now you see it has the fire stick and candy cane in the master view. I can go. Let's see. One thing that I wanted to point out is that the visi the visibility of whether, like, you can go here and you can say that Candy Cane Two is not visible. That is global. So if if you go to Master View now, Candy Cane Two is now hidden. And the reason I wanted to point that out is that even though I have all of these active right here. Let me let me do a save as and I'll type in a new name like test one and I'll start that sequence saving. So what this is going to show is I can open up the one I just saved and then this one and you're going to see a difference because I'm not saving this one I'm looking at. And what's going to happen is the visibility is determined by by the sequence and not by <coughs> by the view. 
So the sequence contains all your models that are in that sequence and it contains the visibility property. So if I go and hope this hope this does what I'm saying. Let me open back up this one here. You can see I'm having to reselect the audio. So you see what happened here? Opened it up. My my view that I last selected was candy canes, so it looks empty. That's because the candy canes. Oh, I got a little bug here. I guess I got fixed because those should not look like. If I click here and here, now you can see it didn't refresh properly to show that they're hidden. So that's because in that sequence, those candy canes are marked as hidden. So even though I have this view active. You, you don't see them. Now I'm going to close this sequence and then open up the test one that I saved. Now you'll see the candy canes because when I saved that sequence those candy canes were visible. So I wanted to point that out because someone's I know someone's going to open up their sequence and say well, how come I can't see anything and it's all going to be you know based on that that visibility in the sequence so I'll open the other one back up just to show if that happens to you just click there and say show all and, and you'll have them back anyways I uh, hope uh, hope adding the views is a, a nice improvement that will help everybody out in their sequencing thanks a lot